Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com. If you'll go back to your structure, scroll down, and we've covered the rest of these here, but go into your menus. We're going to talk about menus today. Uh, you can set up as many menus as you want, okay? And what a menu is, let's close this. This right here is a menu. This right here is a menu uh, right up at the top. And you could set up menus on the left-hand side, right-hand side using blocks and things like that. Um, but a menu can be used for many different things. For example, you can set up a menu just for your bloggers, and only your bloggers can see that menu. Uh, so it comes in handy if you want to set up navigation just for a select group of people. And the very first one is your main menu. Let's take a look at that. List the links. You've got your overview, testimony, news, forum, and under forum you have test, FAQ, and galleries. Now where do we see that? Right here. And under uh, forums, it doesn't have a drop down list on this, but there is additional information here. But overview, testimonies, news, forums, FAQ, and gallery. And notice that spans all the way across here. So let's go back and I'm gonna use the shortcut link right here list links and we're back to where we were um, you can add a link to that so you can make the menu title um, contact us now of course we already have a contact us menu but it's just real easy to do this the path let's take a look at our path I'm gonna right click open in a new tab and I'll go to our contact page and notice it's just forward slash contact so I'll copy that the path will be contact that should work let me see here this is the second contact us link and we're gonna enable it you can just keep it non enabled um, I really don't have a case scenario as to why you would not want that enabled um, and then we want it in the main menu and the weight we want to be let's just say at the very front or the lightest we'll save this now we've got contact us if we click on this it takes us to our contact page so that contact did work let's go back into that and look at that quickly um, anytime you put a path in if you notice our path over here it says and uh, android apps dot drupal gardens dot com forward slash now if you just put the information without the forward slash anything after this would be uh, considered a link uh, or the full address in in Drupal if you just put that in there it's going to assume all this information already now you might be asking why would that be important well let's say I put this full address in here and later on we come up with a domain name let's say that domain name is androidapps.com and we redirect that to our uh, Drupal Gardens and we get rid of all that information so there's where our contact would look like well this would link to the wrong page so keep that in mind in the future you may not have the drupalgardens.com because really in the future we want to get rid of that so if you'll use this technique just forward slash I mean just contacts not forward slash anything in the future when you change your domain name to the one you really want you don't have to go back and rechange all your information all it's gonna do is say okay whatever you put in the front okay I'm just gonna go to the contact page so that's why you wanna do your paths that way as opposed to the full URL now this is a little easier but if you'll just do whatever is past you know the forward slash there you're gonna save yourself time in the future alright let's go back to our links here and we can drag them any way we want to set them up 
Um, but I'm going to leave that right there, push save configurations. And if we go back to our menu, refresh our page, you notice that contact us shows up here. So that's pretty much an overview of menus. You can create new menus. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, if I go back to structure, menus, I can add a menu. Let's say I just wanted a bloggers menu. So we're going to name it blogger menu. And we could describe it. Not going to take the time to do that right now. Um, and so then you would start adding your links. So your link might be add a new blog. And your path. Now this is <laughs> this is kind of fun. Um, we could add content. Let me open that up. Basic page, blog entry, and that's the one we want. So we could sit here, go to add a new blog and copy everything past the forward slash. And now we can set up a path adding a blog. Okay. We just went to the adding a blog page, copied the URL, and then we come back and paste it and add a new blog we want to enable it it wants to be in the blogger menu and we want the weight just to be alphabetical so we'll leave it at zero and push save now we've got a little link that's add a new blog and if you click on it it takes you to adding an, a blog page so you've just helped your bloggers be more efficient because now they click that button and they're adding a new blog um, now what about setting up you you can't see, now let me clarify this right now this blog menu is invisible if you close it you're not gonna find it anywhere how would you add this to your bloggers page well here you go um, we're gonna go to structure we're gonna go to blocks and at the bottom here listed under nothing is gonna be your bloggers menu okay we're gonna put that in the let me look at the overview here uh, oh, that's not what I want I want demonstrate block region Android apps okay I want that blogger menu to show up right in the navigation right below this one so let's close this so that's called navigation and now we'll scroll down and we'll put this in navigation we're gonna push save block all these blocks here and when we go back up to navigation uh, into notice it's in with the main menu and also there's a blogger menu but we're gonna configure it so that it only is viewed by bloggers okay this is kinda of fun save the block now if we close this notice I can't see it because I'm not a blogger so if I wanna see this uh, what the blogger would see I could go up here to people and this is we haven't really covered people very much but I'll just go ahead and show you this and we want to update options so there's my login and I want it add a role to the selected user we're gonna update and now I am now a blogger you can see right here administrator blogger site owner and so let's go back and see if I can see this there we go now I can see that block so you can go in and make it so this disappears for the blogger uh, that's out there and just add a new blog shows up there and if I click on that I'll be able to add a new blog so you can tailor these menus any way you want to uh, if you only want certain people to see a menu or if you want a menu to disappear depending on uh, what role you have so you can see the power you have of designing your entire site alright well Let's go back and make sure we're not missing anything on the menus. 
you've got these different menus here. You can list the link. You can edit the menu. Um, you know, the main main title and stuff like that. And you can add a link. Uh, list link. Just lick some list links just list them down and then you can edit it there and then you can just go straight to add a link but they're in both places it's kinda like if you get there and you say ah, I know I know I wanna add a link it'll take you straight to the adding the link alright guys that covers menus and uh, I've just got about four or five uh, more things we're gonna cover before we start adding our content and I hope you're writing your content and getting a few articles so we can start putting that in you're going to need a minimum of three articles or four articles to really get a feel for what your site can do. So go ahead, go ahead and have those articles written and we'll put that in. All right, guys. Talk to you later.